Hello and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, we're looking at the update which has brought out a brand new army, the Dynasty. So this looks like it is a mix, a hodgepodge of everything Asian, because uh, you have ninjas, who are traditionally, I think, Japanese. A dragon, I think that's more of like a Chinese unit, because it looks like it's got flames. Same with Firework Archer, but Samurai is definitely Japanese. Uh, and the Monkey King. <laughs> but anyway, it's the dynasty. So let's take a look at what these units actually do. So the first one's gonna be the Samurai, ancient fabled warrior of Japan. Let's see how he goes. Ooh. Oh, the halflings are no match for the katana-wielding badasses of the dynasty. Actually, they're really not. These samurai are really good. Oh my god, they skewered! They skewered Frodo! Whoa! Oh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We're down to the last samurai. Oh, he's in a suplex! Oh my god! But the samurai reigns supreme. Okay, well that was the uh, the samurai. Pretty good, pretty cool unit. Solid front line, especially considering they are twice the price of a halfling, just over, and more than twice as good. So the firework archer. What do these bad boys do? Let's put a whole row of them down here and watch them obliterate these halflings. Oh, are they going to explode? Oh, they do! Explosive! And they stick into the bodies. Uh-oh. But can they team kill? Oh, they can team kill with them. These are pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, Frodo, no! You're not taking the ring to Mordor, are you, my friend? These are actually pretty jokes. These are pretty amazing. Whoa! Go on, stick him in the butt. Stick this halfling in the butt. Fireworking, boys. Oh no! Oh, oh, right in the ass! Oh, but the collateral damage! Where did he go? Is he still alive? Who's, who's left? Is there a halfling in the middle of these? What, what is this? What are you doing? There's no halfling in there. That's just a red mess. What are these guys doing? These guys are hunting for enemies. Where's the last blue boy? He's not around the back here. Did he? Uh, I bet a halfling's got a firework up his butt. Flown off to the side of the map and gotten stuck somewhere. We'll never find him. We're gonna call that a red victory. Okay, so that's the firework archer. Honestly, super jokes. That's a pretty funny unit. The monk. Oh yeah. Let's see what these guys are like. Now these are gonna be badasses. We're gonna put down three. They're 250, which is a reasonable price point for these guys. But what can they do? They're big. They're big and tall. They swing their stick. They've got very small heads. What is... <laughs> why is... Again, with the heads. Why is this head so small? Unfortunately, the reach on the staff, uh... It's kind of bad, and these guys are not doing too well against the halflings. They're getting riggedy wrecked. And we've got a monk down. Monk down. That's a blue victory, wow. Monks, not so great, it seems. Ninjas! Now, I remember these from the earlier updates, back when Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, like, years ago, was a thing. These guys threw ninja stars and were pretty freaking amazing. Let's see how they do now. We've got four of them. Are they going to be Ninja Star Throne Boys? Yes, they are. Oh, and it's devastating. Red Victory. Ah, oh, yeah, these, these guys are pretty amazing. 500, so they're not cheap. But if you give them a front line, I reckon these guys devastate. The Dragon. Okay, so I'm imagining Firework Cannon. Whoa, no, okay. It's not fireworks. And this is definitely not Japanese, is it? Although, they've got Japanese haircuts but they're holding a Chinese dragon? Maybe? Sure. Let's go. Is this like the- Oh my- Oh yes! Now this is my kind of unit! So again, difficult to use because it's got a, a horrific dead zone that the halflings are really exploiting here. And they've dropped the dragon now. They're down to just their fisty cuffs. Oh, the halflings have got this one. Interesting. Well, let's see what a bunch of dragons can do. That's what I'm saying. Let's watch these guys absolutely decimate the halflings. 
The flames of hell unleashed. Oh. Oh, that is pretty cool. I like it. I like these units. But they're very expensive. At 1,000, I feel like maybe not as good as a catapult. Now, the Huacha. If I remember rightly, from the older versions of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, this is basically like a, a, a mini ballista that shoots loads of spears. It's a one shot. And once it's shot its load, it can't do much more. So let's see what this guy can do. Three of these bad boys. At 1,500, they're expensive. More expensive than a catapult. But can they decimate? Whoa, okay. And what's the reload like? Do they reload? Do they ever reload? That's the question. They do! They do! They reload! Oh, now this is actually quite savage. The reload on these is, is actually pretty insane. Oh my god, what's that halfling doing to the to the Hawatcha? What you doing to the Hawatcha? Oh my god, the friendly fire is real. This has got to be a red victory, hasn't it? Jesus. This guy's been taken for a ride. Oh my god! <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? The aim on these watches, though, pretty savage. This guy's completely balked his. Ooh. Yes! Okay, finally. Actually, I kind of like this unit. Very situational. There's going to be a lot of reloads if you use this unit because the RNG on it seems pretty insane. Alright, well, let's do the Monkey King. Oh, I'll hail the Monkey King! So what can he do? Is he a jumper? Is he going to jump into battle? Yes, he is. And he's going, he's going crazy. Oh, he teleports as well. Oh, I like that. Oh my god! He, he creates illusions? Holy smokes. Okay, well now we've seen the units, let's put them up against, like, a serious army. So on the right-hand side, we have the medieval knights of old, with squires, archers, healers, knights, a catapult, and a king. That's 12,000 points. This is going to be a big battle. On the left side, we're going to give ourselves 12,000 points worth of dynasty. So the monkey king, the rival to the true king over here, a huacha, Put in a dragon or two. Some ninjas. Some monks. Firework archers, because they're amazing. Actually, they, these guys should be behind the ninjas. So put the ninjas probably there, 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 and there. And now just a few more points in samurai. Okay, that's reasonably even. Let's see these champions go to battle. Oh, it's laggy. The fireworks are coming in. The Huacha, it's chaos on the battlefield. Friendly fire from the from the dragons. Oh, but the king, the king and the healers could be a devastating combo for the dynasty to deal with. However, what if they get some fireworks up the king's caboose and send him to the moon? So far, not so good. The Huacha is absolutely terrible. Oh, it's a whitewash, or should I say a blue wash? Alright, well, we're gonna clear these. Let's put Hawatches. And these are this is lots of Hawatches. We're gonna see some devastation here. Man, I'm looking forward to the Renaissance and the Pirate updates. But let's try them against uh some Jarls. Okay, here come the Hawatches. Whoa! The lag is real! <laughs> Holy smokes! Any of these guys dead? Man, are these are these arrows or bees? Oh, devastation! I like the Huaches, that's crazy. Very expensive, but very cool. Okay, uh, what else? What more fun can we have? What about... Let's see how many firework archers it takes to launch a mammoth. That's a lot, that's a lot. And we'll go to Tribal, and put in maybe two mammoths, maybe three. Go on, send these boys to the moon. Oh, okay, so they don't quite have what it takes to push back the mammoths. But they do st stall them pretty well. And Mammoths are savage. It looks like they don't take much damage from the front at all. Their front armor is super heavy. These Mammoths have taken this like a boss. 
I think the archers are going to get smoked. Until the archers can start shooting the sides. Oh, we got two mammoths down, though. Three mammoths down. Okay. So the mammoths didn't take it. Well, they can't send a mammoth to the moon. What can they send to the moon? What's like a light unit with a shield? Maybe some shield bearers. Let's try this. See if they can send these guys to the moon. Oh, it's close. They <laughs> are spinny. Whoa, look at this cartwheel boy. Oh, I like it. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, in the, straight in the groin. Oh, that's a bad time. That's a very bad time. Let's see that again, because this is pretty good. Oh, the spinny boys! Oh, I love it! I love it! What a way to go. What a way to go. <laughs> Holy smokes, they're all on his shield! Look at that. Look at that. Hooray. That's pretty freaking amazing. Okay, well that's where we're gonna actually call it. This has been a quick look at the new update. The new units, part of the dynasty. I can't wait for the renaissance. But also, let me give you the scoop on what's to come. So I've developed a game. I say I've developed a game. I've thought up an idea, a way to play Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. The way it's gonna work is, we're gonna put down, now we played this game before, me and Sips, and me and Tom. And each person gets, say, oh, let's say like, a thousand points, so. This guy puts down a wheelbarrow and the red team, the guy who's controlling red doesn't look. The guy who's playing blue puts down his army. Then, the blue guy moves the camera over to the red side so we can't see what the blue guy's put down. And then he gets a thousand points. And then no one knows what the other guy's put down. We battle. And the person who loses gets an H or a letter. And it's the first of five letters that loses. Man, this is a pretty, pretty rough, pretty rough and tumble get together. Oof. <laughs> it's tomato warfare. Uh oh, it's Afro Boy versus Tomato. I, this, is, this isn't going to end well for him, is it? So red wins, blue gets an H, and then the points limit goes up to say, let's say 2,000. Then from 2,000 it goes to 4,000, or maybe 3,000, whatever works well, because you can't have 20,000 versus 20,000, that's lagtastic. Or maybe we can, maybe that's crazy and what we want to do. But, that is the way the game is going to go down, and I'm going to invite random guests that I know, my colleagues, people from the office, to come and play. So in the comments section, let me know who you want to see me uh, fight against, or tweet at me, and that sounds like it'll be a barrel of fun and really cool to do. And it's going to partly, it's not going to be MLG, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, but it will be a nice opportunity to have a chat with whoever else is up for it, and just have some fun and, fun and games. Until next time, hit subscribe, drop a like, and uh, I will see you soon for hopefully some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I can't wait for the Renaissance update, I'm going to cover that too. But until then, take care. <laughs>